Hi, my name is Samira. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the new Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Bold Liquid Lipsticks. These retail for $34. They have nine shades. I have five of the shades here with me. I actually thought I had six shades, um, but it turns out one of them is a double up of my favorite shade, which is the Daring Beige because you guys know I love a nude. <laughs> I just thought I would give you a little review on these liquid lipsticks because I hadn't heard of them until I actually was at an event for Elizabeth Arden this week and they gave them to us and they showed them to us and I really, really like them. So I wanted to share them with you guys. I'm really scared to take this shade off and show you the lip swatches though because they are super, super pigmented and they have a staining effect. So anything that leaves a stain is really hard to do lip swatch videos with because like you just have to kind of cover them with foundation between the layers. But yeah, they are creamy high impact lip color, combines the coverage and intensity of a lipstick with the finish of a gloss using the unique Flock to tip applicator, push the lever of the click pen to release just the right amount of product. Lips are saturated with intense color while rich emollients leave them feeling luxurious, moisturized and comfortable with long lasting color that doesn't feather or bleed. So they are liquid lipsticks, but they are not matte liquid lipsticks. You can see this one, I've been wearing it for maybe like five hours now with no touch ups. It is beautiful. It still looks pretty much fresh. I mean, other than just in here where I could touch it up if I wanted to, um, but I don't really need to. It's still glossy. It just looks like leather, red leather, really sexy. So I was wearing red because I was filming Christmas gift guides, but we have all of the other shades here that I want to show you as well. I would like to say that these applicators are really, really cool. You have the little push up button here where you push it up and the product comes out and then it's like a sponge tip on the top, but like a really thin sponge tip. It's really cool. Since it's so thin, you could easily, you know, spray that with alcohol and wipe it over if it was, you know, something that you were worried about. I mean, me personally, I just use my lip products on myself. So germs do not bother me, but if they bother you, that could be easily cleaned because it's not like, you know, super thick sponge tip. Uh, very unique, surprisingly easy to get a relatively good lip shape with bold colors, even without a lip pencil. Personally, I would still use a lip pencil, but you don't have to use it with these, which is really good. Something that I have noticed that with liquid lipsticks that don't dry to a matte finish, I usually find that they bleed really badly, but these ones don't, which is really, really good. So I, I kind of like that because I don't like to be uncomfortable with like matte lips all the time. So I like that these are comfortable. If you press like that, they just stick a little bit, but not that bad. And I don't really walk around like doing that all the time. Like it is quite a strong stick, but just talking and doing your normal life, I don't notice like the stickiness to be an issue or anything. But yes, let's get into swatching these lipstick colors. With the first shade, Fearless Red, I find that when you first apply it, it looks more like an orangey red, but then after you've been wearing it a few hours, it kind of becomes more of a neutral red, if anything, slightly blue-based. So I feel like this color will really depend on what kind of lip liner, if you choose to pair it with a lip liner, what kind of lip liner you pair it with. So here we have Daring Beige, which is just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful nude shade. This shade looks like it's not pigmented, but in reality, it's just really close to my natural lip color. It's why I didn't uh, choose to wear it today to show you kind of how it looked after many hours, after filming videos and stuff, just because you kind of can't really see as well. Um, but yeah, this color is absolutely beautiful. I've wanted to work a few times. It lasts really well. It wears off really nicely. Um, it's a beautiful kind of mauvey grayish nude but it doesn't look sickly some nudes where they have that gray tone they look really unwearable but this just definitely isn't it's just got the right amount of pink and nude and beige and everything all together and i noticed when i swatch it on my hand and versus when the other girls at the event swatch this on their hand it just looked different on everyone so it's a shade that's really going to adapt to suit pretty much everyone this shade is extreme pink and it is like a fuchsia pink super pretty it's got a nice purpley blue undertone so it makes my teeth look really nice and white just like a yeah purpley pink barbie kind of shade absolutely stunning love this it's going to be perfect coming into summer then we have luscious raspberry which is definitely more of that 
if you put on a little bit because with this it's easy to put on a little bit as more of a stain it is definitely like i've been eating berries all morning and now my lips are just beautifully flushed it's definitely that kind of shade and when you build it up it is this beautiful it's like that pink where it's nearly red like it's just a very deep yeah as the name says raspberry kind of shade where it's yeah nearly red absolutely beautiful i love this kind of shade with the gloss just makes your lips look really juicy then we have Seductive Magenta, which is a nice purpley shade. The more blue based shade, again, which is really nice because all of these shades make your teeth look really nice and white, which is always good in a lipstick. You don't want yellow teeth. This is definitely a more daring shade. Building this up, I really liked how this was a sheer layer on my lips as opposed to now it's like very purple and super glossy, which you know is how it's meant to be worn, but I really liked it sheerly as more of a lip stain but that's just my preference in this set you also have a passionate peach a lavish pink you have another red a pink lover i just a nice assortment of shades and seeing like the lavish pink and passionate peach i definitely think i'm gonna have to pick those shades up because they also look from my little swatch card they look very wearable and you guys know i love wearable shades especially like lighter shades in glosses i just I love that glossy finish so I absolutely love these liquid lipsticks. I think they're beautiful. I mean they're liquid lipsticks but they're not matte so don't expect them to be matte but they wear like a matte liquid lipstick in terms of the fact that they don't bleed once they're on your lips. They're kind of there. I really like them. I highly recommend them. I recommend everyone go get the beige color because it's just the perfect nude. I love it. I love it and if you like a red their reds are beautiful as well. But yeah, let me know what your favorite shade was down below. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.